With the increased cost of getting a new customer, so many brands are relying on discounting their products to increase sales and move inventory. But don't just give an overall 20% off because that's boring. And making all your products on sale just cheapens your brand. There is a much better way to do this and to create personalized discounts for your customers that create that sense of urgency for them to act quickly to get a limited time offer. My favorite way to do this is using reconvert and using post-purchase upsells. Using this app, you can actually give your customer the option to purchase a similar product, more of the same product, or a complimentary product after they complete their original purchase. The after part is really key because it doesn't distract them from the original purchase and it makes sure it's really personalized and relevant to the product that they just purchased on your site. Plus, since you already got that first sale, they're more likely to purchase from you again. You can add a countdown timer to increase the urgency of taking the discount. And if they don't take the offer, you can try and promote a different product or give a bigger discount. Best of all, you don't even have to mess with managing the discount codes manually in Shopify. And the app does all the hard work for you. It's really easy to set up and start using. So let's put five minutes on the clock over here and I'm gonna show you exactly how to set it up. The app link is in the description if you wanna follow along with me. Once you have the app connected to your Shopify store, the first thing that you wanna do is set up your post-purchase funnel sequence. So to do that, you're in the app and you're gonna click on funnels and here you have your post-purchase funnel. Now their default funnel is called the conversion monster funnel. So let's go in now and customize this and I'll show you how it works. So we'll go ahead and click edit. So the first step is what triggers them to enter this funnel. So we can click on edit here. Right now it's just showing up to anyone who places an order on your site, but you can actually change it based off of a couple different parameters like information about the customer, what they purchased, the order details and other options there. So you could say, okay, if they purchase from this collection, show this funnel and so on. So you can make a lot of different funnels and make it really specific for which individual products or collections that they're purchasing from. However, you can just go ahead and have this set up as all orders and add in some dynamic parameters in the actual upsells that are being shown. So you can see here, we have our first upsell that it's going to be shown as soon as they finish their checkout, they're going to be shown this first option. If they they accept it, it goes into showing them another one and then going into the thank you page. If they decline the offer, it then goes into a downsell offer as well, where you could offer a different product or that higher percentage discount to have them try and redeem that offer as well. Let's go in and set up one though. So let's do this first upsell right now. It's the most expensive product that's purchased that it's highlighting that again. So let's click edit. So you can go ahead and see how this is going to look. You can see that they have an order number here that's shown and it's confirming that they have already purchased that product so there's no confusion. But we can go in and actually add this offer. So you can see here we have a countdown timer with some messaging here. If we click on product options, we can actually choose right here. We can say again, this most expensive product. So whatever they purchase from their cart, the most expensive one, you can use a different third party app to recommend which product is going to fit in best here. You can also have Shopify do the product recommendation. You can choose the cheapest product or you can choose a specific product as well. If you're wanting to highlight a specific product that you're promoting for a certain limited time. So for this example, I'm just going to click specific product. And then I can choose my product here. So I'm going to highlight one of our products that's our best selling children's book. And if it's already in their original order, I could choose to display it anyways, or I can skip the offer or display an alternative product. And I could just select a different product there. So that way it does either or product depending on what they've already purchased. I can go in now and I can choose how this looks and the overall design. So I can import different information like the product description. I can click import description and it's pulled it in there and pulled it in here as well. I can also choose how I want this to be stylized just overall in terms of how the images are shown up here and change any of the wording here as well. We can also go in and display and change this discount. So if we click on discounts and shipping, we can say add discount if you didn't want to. You could just unclick that. However, it's going to be much more likely to convert if you have that discount. So we'll just click add discounts. You can add your discount value here and this is what the app does and you don't have to mess with anything manually in Shopify. It'll automatically create those discounts for you. 
So you can go through and customize how this is displayed and all of your text and wording there. You can also go in for the title here and you can change this to be whatever you would like to highlight this product and promote it more relevant to the individual product that you have set up. If you choose to do a more dynamic option, then you may wanna leave that to be a little bit more of a loose wording so that it applies to many different products as well. My favorite here is the countdown timer. So you can add that timer in, offer expires, you can change how many minutes they have to actually use this timer until the offer expires. And whenever the offer expires, it'll go to the next step in the funnel, depending on what you have that set up as. And you can see we have that set up here, move to the next offer. You could still have this here, but remove the discount or just do nothing. You also have the option to change your button and how you would like this to be displayed as well. Once you're happy with your upsell and you feel like it's going to give the right amount of attention to your product, as well as increase that sense of urgency and get them to go in and add this product to their cart as well, we can just click save. Now, if you exit out of this, you can go through the same process and choose based off of this, what that second upsell is going to be, as well as the downsell. And you can just click on the pencil icon to edit all of these as well. You can also go in and customize your thank you page. So you can see here the thank you page is highlighted in a couple different areas based on if they accept or decline the offer. And so you can go in and add in some more edits there. If we click on edit here for the thank you page, you can see already how this looks and some different customization options that you can add in here. So you could add in more of an upsell over here, highlight more products here. There's a lot of different functionality that this app has, but it's a lot better way of showcasing your products with a discount. And again, increase that sense of urgency. So they're more likely to actually purchase your product, but it doesn't cheapen your brand by having different things on sale or showing a discount. This app has so many additional functionalities as well, like creating upsell offers on the thank you page, collecting your customers' birthdays for additional promotions, and so much more. It's actually one of my favorite Shopify apps to use. And if you want to see some of my other favorite Shopify apps that I use in my store and client stores, then check out this video over here where I go over my top 10 favorite Shopify apps for 2023.